Okay, next video for today is the one about file sizes. Okay, so we've looked at um, different types of uh, file organization method. Hopefully you've seen in parallel a video about record structure, so you understand how to create a, um, a, uh, a record format, which you might use to organize a file. Now basically, how would you estimate the size of the file that you would be um, using uh, to store your data? So that's what this um, short video is about. So basically, if you've got um, a, a particular file size, so we've got an organization with 1,350 employees. This is the data that we want to store. We've got the employee ID, the employee's first name, surname, landline, so their telephone number, and their address, okay? Each of those things has a particular um, uh, amount of data. Each of those fields has a particular amount of data associated with it. Um, so uh, remember, if you're looking at the, a direct access file, then basically uh, the empty characters will just be filled up with spaces, for example, to preserve the file length so we could skip between records easily. All right. So first of all, what I need to do is estimate the size of a single record. So if I know I've got an integer, um, an integer might be two bytes. Uh, first name, 20 characters. So assuming we're just using ASCII, that's 20 bytes. Uh, surname 20 bytes again, landline 11 characters. You should know why a telephone number is stored as a string, not as an integer. Okay, and then the employee address again, two. So if I'm assuming I'm using ASCII for those final four fields, uh, it's one byte per character. Therefore, if I add all of that up, 309 bytes. Okay, uh, multiply that by the number of records in a file. So there's 1350 employees, so 309 bytes times 1350 gives me that many bytes, 117,150. And what I want to do is add 10% for data overheads. Okay, that gives me 458,865 bytes. And then that's a bit of an awkward number to deal with. So what I can do is divide by 1024 to get the kilobytes, and divide by 1024 again to get megabytes, and 1024 again to get gigabytes, etc. Okay, so in this case, dividing that by 1024 gives me 448k for um, my file. Really easy. Okay, uh, what do we talk? What do I mean by when I talk about data overhead? So this is extra information. Uh, so, you know, basically metadata. The user might not see it, but other people might be interested in that data for whatever reasons. Okay, so it could be details, the last update, file protection information, the author of the file, editor of the file etc 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 okay any you know metadata basically metadata all right um the uh so what i want you to have a go hit pause okay i'm going to look at this example um uh file size uh, rec record format over here i want to have a go at calculating the file size uh first name and family name just assume that they have a maximum of 20 characters okay and hit pause and I'm assuming you hit play again and you want to go check your calculation to see if you got the same kind of answer as me. So basically these are the data types that I identified. Okay, so the ID number is an integer. Um, first name, maximum 20, it's a string. Family name is a string. Gender is a character. Active status is a Boolean, true or false. Okay, so the integer being two bytes. If I'm using ASCII, one byte per character for uh for the first name and family names is 20 bytes each one byte for uh the character for gender and then one byte for a boolean okay so the total per record would be 44 bytes times 2000 for 2000 records 10 percent of that is 96,800. so you add the whole thing together and do the divide by 1024 to get the number of kilobytes and i have 94k approximately for the size of the file okay quite straightforward and easy all right so you should be able to do that calculation single uh so you've got the size per record multiplied by the number of records plus 10 percent to calculate the file size all right